Under the leadership of the Executive Minister of the Church of Christ, Brother Eduardo Manalo, we have seen that the aid, of, aid to humanity projects of the Church were intensified throughout the years. Now, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo continues to teach and guide the members of the Church in fulfilling one of God's commandments, and that is to help our fellow men. Let us watch the Church of Christ once again touch the lives of those people in need through the being of Samama Mayan. Take a look. I love making sure that we're connecting those communities. Aid to Humanity has been an event for giving assistance and even bringing diverse communities together, like here in Queens, New York. The success of this activity, especially so as they reached out to the brethren and not only uh, the deaf, but even those organizations who are also uh, in the community here in New York, uh, even New Jersey, for the deaf community, which is to bring everyone together and to help uh, participate in this activity. This being the first and biggest event ever held for the deaf community here. A much needed event for residents like Dave. with other representatives from the community. This was their chance to receive such timely support. It gave us a chance to show that there are a lot of people out there who need help. And maybe not even need help, just need a chance to feel like they're a part of something. As monetary donations were given to the organizations representing the deaf community, so was inspiration. Even in Florida, like here in Orlando, another community small in stature but big in need was also provided for. It was the children of the Orange County school system. We are the ninth largest school district in the country, so and fourth largest here in Florida. So it's a very, very large student body. A gift like this just reminds me um, how much I love my job how much I love making sure that we're connecting those community resources down to the, ch the children's level. And it really is making a difference every day. It's a true investment in our community and it's deeply, deeply appreciated. Through a monetary donation, this would start the implementation of food pantries for kids throughout the entire county. I think it's important for people to, as you all recognize, investing in your community. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you all are a very good example of just how impactful you can be to schools and to a lot of children um, just by inquiring and asking, how can I help? Mm -hmm. So we are grateful for that. And in Jacksonville, where needs for children are more diverse, the Daniel Kids Organization was also a recipient of timely aid from Church of Christ members. We're just trying to give children, families um, who might be going through a crisis, um, the, the resources they need, the help they need um, to get them back on their feet and to be successful. Do what we do without incredible organizations like Church of Christ. I mean, take a look at this, and you can't even see everything that's stacked up behind there. Just, I, I'm, I'm just floored with the generosity. Kid. We, we need the help so we can help kids and families, and you've all been a great part of that, so thank you. An Aid to Humanity event in Virginia Beach, Virginia, bringing officials and residents together for assistance by a drive through experience. Food and care packages filling up cars and bringing hope. I just know that very, a lot of generosity. I hear so many good stories of all the different things you do between vaccine drives and backpack drives and blood drives and gosh, now free groceries. So, you know, what, what don't you do? It's just impressive when a group of people can get together and it just shows the strength of what you all can do in numbers. 
by the generosity of your deeds, how much uh, an integral part of Virginia Beach and the Hampton Roads community your church is, and how supportive you are of all members of our Virginia Beach community, and I just want to thank you. And Texas brought another community together because of the inspiration it gives even Church of Christ members like Barbara to change lives through aid. Man, it was a blessing to be part of the it's a humanity because it shows our community we do care and we love people. You see what I'm saying? And to give back to people that's uh, in need, it is a blessing. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who came out to help. Thank you to everyone who donated for you guys to be able to help us with these things. And God bless you all. And in the nation's capital, Henry and Williams Evans Homes for Children Incorporated also has become the recipient of assistance by Church of Christ members in Washington, D.C. I just want to say thank you again. Uh, thank you to all of your church, all of your congregants. This is an amazing act of giving. We never expected to see this, this uh, magnitude of giving to help these young people. Um, this facility specifically helps some of the, the most needy of our children. And in New Jersey, aid was given to the Housing Authority of Bayonne, with recognition to also the firefighters and police officers serving the community. While this would help in providing to the needy families of Bayonne, it was a milestone celebrated by the Church of Christ and the City of Bayonne a year after the mayor proclaimed October 31st as Igleshni Cristo Day and Eduardo V. Manalo Day for the outstanding humanitarian efforts of the Church of Christ in Bayonne. And in the same district, an event to provide winter clothing and food packages for residents in the upcoming winter was held in Philadelphia, an ongoing love for the community. Reaching over to the Caribbean, it was here in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, where needy children from a local orphanage were given food and care packages, an exercise of true faith to one's fellow men. Because there are so many here in the Dominican Republic that, that are less fortunate and, and, and the youth, the children. Uh, and we are here in this orphanage today to, to extend that help, inspired by the words of God taught to us by our executive minister, Brother Eduardo Manal. A vital source of aid that has also reached areas of South America, like in Brazil, one of many countries receiving aid from Church of Christ members as an exercise of love for their fellow men. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, this is just huge. Um, you improved the odds for kids today. For meeting the needs of our citizens. So it's good to make that statement that people do care. Happy birthday, Brother Eduardo. Happy birthday.